Thank you again for taking your time to stop, look, and listen in our divine appointment here tonight. I'm Sandra Lynch here on Two and One Shows. That's right, right here from the fun Fort Wayne, Indiana. And this is TV Calling All Angels Hotline. Hi, right, Jason thanks. Shields. You're on the show thanks tonight. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for coming all it's the way. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I can barely stand myself on the show. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal to be here on the same stage as the incomparable Sandra Lynch. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Jason Shields. I, I wouldn't say I'm the only one. You but, are. Uh, God bless you. You are on Great this to show be here. tonight. Welcome, people. You are on this show here tonight, Jason. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You got that, didn't you? Well, we, I mean, I mean you know, divine love and holy kisses is what it's all about, right? Well, and yeah. love and unity and, and so forth. Yeah. How'd you know that? Well, I, I read your newsletters, and, and I'm sure that uh, you have a lot of uh, listeners and uh, viewers. Oh, my goodness. All over. Yeah, <laughs> waiting, because this is a live show tonight. And the number to call in is usually on the screen, but I'm going to tell everyone right now. It's the 260-422-3902. And don't and be shy. the hotline. The hotline is open. You're on the okay, hotline. Yeah, yeah, if you guys have any questions about uh, me or uh, uh, any questions about your life, give me a call. Give us a call. Questions about, about your life. Love, health, finances, um, that job that sucks. <laughs> you mean the just over broke? Yes. Okay, versus the joyous overflowing blessing. Yes. Yes. I, I choose that one. <laughs> yes. Well, while they're contemplating, letting that energy stir within them to call on the phone tonight, let's tell everybody about how we met, how we came together, wow. how our paths cross, and how this is all happening. You know, I have to begin with... Uh, you know, Sandra, life is so good. Um, I would have never guessed that I would be here with you. And it, it was two months ago, three months ago, that we had met. Uh, like, I remember Oprah Winfrey 10 years ago on her show. She said she was with Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. And she was sitting back. And she just took a deep sigh, a deep breath, and she said, life is so good. And that's what I can say today. I mean, I've been through hell and back. I'm sure that a lot of viewers out there who are, who are watching, uh, you've been through the gamut. Um, but it's all good. It's, it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier, that uh, life is drama. Life is, is uh, you know, you have your enemies, you have your loved ones, you have your friends, but they're all good. It's all good. And um, uh, so, 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 yeah, it's great to be here. Thank oh, my you. gosh. I'm excited because we're actually unfolding two shows at one tonight. Yes. Because within this show, we will be broadcasting through my weekly show, TV Angels Talk, which airs in another uh, number one access station in New York. New York City, New baby. York City, Keep yes, the Spirit Channel 57. Okay. And, and that shows TV Angels Talk Soul Relationships. Okay, great. Yeah, with Sandra. And Jason Shields. And Jason. <laughs> yeah, for tonight. <laughs> for tonight, yeah. yeah. So we have one big story to share. Yes, yes. yes. Um, uh, it's um, I have lived. I'm 35 years old, and I've lived to me a thousand lifetimes in this life, in this one life. I've been through it all. I've loved. I've lost. I've. Uh, um, it's just been one great, big, huge adventure. Um, I was born with cerebral palsy. And um, for those of you who are not familiar with that, um, it's a neurological disorder um, that uh, oh, really? I was born with. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, I was doing some research uh, just before the show, and over 800,000 Americans have cerebral palsy. It's not a disease. It's not a. Uh, um, it doesn't get worse. Um, you're just born with it, or uh, shortly after the birth, um, if complications arise. In my case, uh, my mother hemorrhaged before I could get out of the womb, and it cut off oxygen to my left side. Um, 
and results in brain damage. But the, the beautiful thing is, though, uh, my mother, God bless her, she held me in her arms for like days, and she prayed this simple prayer that, God, please give Jason a healthy brain and mind. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the body. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the, the body. Um, I mean, she did, yes, of course. Yeah. But uh, give him a strong mind, and I will dedicate him to you. Wow. And wow. I don't believe in coincidence. I believe in divine appointment. Jason means healer in the ah, Greek. Oh. And I grew up to be just that, a minister, a healer, a psychic, and a medium. And, um, and so, more. So that's why I say, and more. I, I do a lot. <laughs> I wear many hats. I wear many hats. M many halos. Halos. I call them. Yes. On this show, it's halos <laughs> Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, so along with that, um, here's the other uh, crux of my life, I guess, my main hat that I wear is I am a psychic medium. Mm -hmm. um, I was born this way. I, th th there's no uh, huge story to tell as far as, I didn't go see a gypsy fortune teller and she didn't tell me that I had supernatural powers or nothing like that, or I didn't have a veil over my face that, you know, how some infants are born with a, a veil, a sheath. Um, I was just born this way. And, and I always remember from day one of seeing spirits and ghosts. And, and uh, they, they've never been away from me, never. You mean uh, they've angels? They've always, angels, ghosts, um, of course there's a big difference there. Oh, there you is? Know, good ghosts are uh, earthbound spirits who haven't crossed over into the light. Um, angels are like our, what I call spirit guides. Um, are there any in the studio tonight? Well, of Just course. let me tell let me there's, ask. There's a whole entourage, <laughs> people. You're kidding. Yes, um, uh, you know, I see loved ones all over the place. Um, that's why it's hard to be afraid. Whose loved ones? My loved ones? Your dad. My dad. I told you about your dad yeah, earlier. Becomes, oh, thank you. And, and uh, you know, yeah. it's like, um, of, course, of course, they give us messages all the time. They give us uh, yeah. comfort. Of course, sometimes they give us uh, not so much, much comfort as far as, you know, when, when they speak the truth. Um, like, if we're not supposed to be doing something, they'll say it. And, and are we on track authentically tonight? You're on <laughs> Jason, track. We You're on track. track. Okay. No, You're I'm not track. afraid. I think everything like you, well, kind of like you, everything is in divine order. Yeah. Everything's in right action. Everything's moving onward, it's upward, it's goodward. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous. This, uh, like I said, um, growing up, it was hard. It was hard. It was, uh, I didn't have very many um, friends. I had like two or three, God bless them, uh, that were, uh, close to me, but the rest of my friends were um, spirits, ghosts. I, I, I was, imaginary I was fortunate. Friends. Well, imaginary friends. I, I tell you, um, the imaginary friends. Um, you know, of course, uh, uh, children from age zero to uh, six and seven, they see them all the time, and uh, um, I just saw them all the time, time all the way up till I was, you know, 35, so, but uh, it, it's not until you tell someone or, or tell your little child that don't see that, okay? You're not supposed to see imaginary friends. You're not supposed to, to uh, you know, see those things. Um, and th that's when we get cut off. That's when we don't see them because society gets in the way, okay? And um, I, I just, it's, it's a travesty. Um, and so when I see clients, their mothers and fathers, um, I try and tell them if they, if they have the, the, the little kids. They come to me all the time. I get emails constantly um, uh, through the website of how much, how many stories of their kids seeing spirits and their loved ones, uh, grandpas, grandmothers who have crossed over. So, so it's, really, it's really a cool job. I, I have one of the best jobs in the world. I've been doing it professionally for, gosh, over 18 years. Really? 18, I started when I was about uh, 14. 